welcome back to a quick little video from Mark One RC. Um, I'm going to talk about my Corelli Shogun here. Now, this isn't the newest version. I bought this. Um, I bought this used, and I thought it just needed a ESC and a bit of a clean up. Well, that was just half the story, really. Um, I, had to buy, I bought a new body shell for it. I didn't have to buy a new body shell for it. That's the one that it came with. It's um, a little bit beat up. Not too significant, but you know. A uh, bit scratched up in places and everything. Don't know well you can see that. So I just thought, oh well, you know, treat myself to a new body shell, make it look nice. The wheels that it came with were crap, they just balloon up even on 4S, they just like, poof, they just puff up, so they're useless. Now, oh, it's a bit of an heavy old girl with these, these are belted tyres I bought these, these are um, sweeps, uh, what do they call them, sweep terrain crushers or something, they call these. Um, yeah, they're, they're quite heavy, overall they make it, make it a bit of a weighty thing. So we'll have to see how that goes. Um, as you can see here, well, I don't know how well you can see. I'll try and get this. This arm here, the upper upper suspension arm, that's uh, wobbly. I replaced, I thought I replaced one. It's still a bit wobbly. I don't know which one I replaced now. It has to be, it has to be that one. Yeah, so there was washers all packed out behind behind there on the upper arms. Um, so I bought the plastic, the proper uh, spacers. The servo packed up not long after getting it. So I had to buy a new servo. I've taken it all out. I've cleaned it all up. It was uh, There was rust on the arms, on the um, link rods, the track rod ends. These silver, silver arms here, they was... Uh, slightly rusty it's just in a bad way <coughs> um excuse me these underneath bits these side guards these are these are new you can see the chassis is a bit scratched uh these are a bit bit more they're usable they're a bit scuffed but usable can't complain too much it's gonna get bad anyway but um I had to replace some of the screws underneath. Um, if you see holes there to move things about, but um, yeah, I had to replace some of the screws underneath. They were just like too rusty. Uh, yeah, so I had to get a new ESC for it. So I bought this one. It's, um, I don't know where you can see that. The Spectrum ESC there. It's the um, smart 150 amp out the new armors. So I put that on there. So um, basically, the, the spoiler's still a bit the, the spoiler, the wing, the wing's still a bit messed up. I might get a new wing for it. And then um, I also bought also bought new springs because these are the ones it came with. You can see they're all scratched. They look more silver than black. So it's got new springs. Um, yeah, there's quite a few, there's quite a few new bits on there to be honest with you. Um, the diffs, the diffs were in a complete mess. I've had to take the diffs apart. Um, some of the, I think the front and the rear, sorry, the front and the middle diffs, the uh, gaskets were split, so the oil was coming out of them. Um, the oil inside was just rubbish anyway, it was like water. So, yep, yeah, I've changed all that. It's got new oil in the diffs, and I've changed the oil on the front suspension there. But I haven't changed, I don't know what's in the back, but um, yeah, I might do that. I can't be can't be bothered too much. I've got a new arm to fit here. Um, I don't know why this is wobbling. Um, I think that arm's a bit worn. So I've got a new arm to fit. I'm going to give this a go gonna give this a little go later on it, I used it once after I set it up um, 
and the uh, nope sorry the front one of the front out drives came loose so you know didn't end up going nowhere I've lost the lid for the um, for the battery uh, sorry for the receiver box I've lost the lid for that don't know where it's disappeared to I've got a new one on order but it seems to be like a about as rare as rocking or shit so you know it's just it is what it is I guess you know um, yeah so it's got a f the difference some of the differences well one of the differences I know of between this and the other the newer version this one has a 46 tooth um, spur gear on it which came as a um, stock and I'm going to use a 15 tooth pinion. Um, I did try this motor. Oh, I've got to do something with a switch. Um, yeah, I did try this motor um, in another car. And it performed it performed quite badly against something else. So I've got a feeling that the motor may be a bit dud as well. So yeah. So basically, cut a long story short, is what this has cost me to buy used and to put right I probably could have just gone and bought a new one well in fact I could have just bought a new one and still be better off because I still got like worn worn out drives and things you know so yeah uh, the moral of the story is I guess you know you really got to be careful when you're buying something used if you don't know who you're buying it from then you know you're open for a good old uh, rogering so yeah anyway guys so at least we have one shelf one shelf of niceties and one shelf of getting getting mucked up so anyway guys yeah oh and the front bumper yeah change the front bumper oh and um on the diff cases the um can't see it but the bit that goes on either end to hold the um, hinge pins in um, I had to change them on throw front and back as they look more like a banana than straight so yeah it's just a lot of work gone into it you know it's just I wish I never bought it but yeah you know it would have been you know like by the time I paid £200 for it minus an ESC I just thought it just needed an ESC I had ESCs I could have used but I just decided to buy a new one anyway so yeah by the time i paid 200 for this and you know you spend like 50 60 quid here and 60 quid there and 40 pound for the shell and you know it all starts mounting up and you could have just bought the bloody new one for about 400 odd anyway so you know anyway guys that's it for now and um keep an eye out i will be running it soon okay thanks for watching take care cheers